All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. So Tundra Twister was doing a lot of twisting, um, and a lot of the construction was finished today. So they finished about 80% of the elevator. So 80% of the elevator is installed. Uh, in this photo, uh, you're going to see them prepping the land for grass, uh, which I think could potentially be coming tomorrow. They are rushing to get this ready. Okay, they are rushing so hard because in this, this is filmed at around 9.15 a.m. Um, at about the end of the day, uh, essentially almost all construction is finished. Um, so just very little left. The fencing, the black fencing, uh, the restricted area fencing is complete. Um, and Snoopy's Racing Railway, most of the grass is installed, which you'll see. Sorry, why am I talking about Snoopy's yet? We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but nonetheless, um, someone from Mondial has been on site programming this ride. A lot. So all the videos you've seen me posting is them programming essentially each sequence and fault and just a bunch of different things about the ride. Um, what was really cool was um, Grace basically walked up to the ride and that's when I knew something was going to happen because I saw her with her camera. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it was really cool to see the ride in its full sequence. But here at 9.15 a.m., um, I could tell that they were going to test the ride entirely. Um, so I flew the drone and I was expecting to get like, um, just like where they left off yesterday, about 75% up. And then it just like randomly went over and I was just like, whoa, okay. I was, ex I wasn't expecting that till like 12 PM. Um, but yeah, what you're seeing here is around 9 15 AM. And then right after this clip where it goes over, actually I'll insert it right now. This is where Grace was filming. Um, they ran the ride with its actual cycle. So they proved that it's already programmed to do this. So essentially what I think the guy from Mondial is doing was just fine tuning the program. Um, so I could see this ride being handed off to the park sometime Saturday or Sunday. And uh, then they're going to run it for like probably 24, 48 hours straight. Because this ride should be opening May 19th, guys. Okay, fingers crossed. This ride should be opening May 19th. So... Um, <laughs> let's pray to the coaster gods here that, uh, this thing opens soon, but yeah, this was really cool to catch. Um, well, it, 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 and it goes faster than this, by the way, you'll see in another video. Um, I posted it on YouTube shorts. So if you haven't seen the video, go to my YouTube shorts and I uploaded a really fast cycle of Tundra. It was really impressive to see. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, this was really cool to see. It's so large in person. I feel like that's what fans say about me when they meet me. Sorry, lost myself there. Um, but nonetheless, um, she's a beauty. Like, she really is a beauty. Wonderland, great choice on this edition. Guests were stopping and being like, that's the new ride. And you know what I've noticed about this ride? You know how when new rides come out, guests don't typically know the name right away? I've noticed guests know the name of this ride. They've marketed it very well. Guests know the name of Tundra Twister. Alrighty, Snoopy's Racing Railway. This ride is literally almost complete. I keep saying literally weird, but it's almost complete. It's a little, the grass is in, they got theming. Charlie Brown is in like a little like Mountie outfit. Um, super cute. The salon is almost done. The firework shot factory is done. Franklin's uh, firework factory. By the way, this is almost like a knockoff of, a knock -off of Dollywood's um, Fire Chaser Express. So I'm gathering that the theme is you're going to be putting out fires or something. Um, so... That's cool. I love it. It's adorable. This ride's absolutely adorable. Like, look at it from all angles. Look at Charlie Brown. Um, this ride, I forecast to be opening any day. From what I'm hearing, the commissioning is done. Um, so, any day now, this ride could be opening, guys. I, like, expect to just walk in one day and the ride to be open. <laughs> um, but yeah, nonetheless, it's looking cool. About 2025 or 2027, some shipping crates have arrived, and there was still more surveying going on um, back in Kingswood. So that's definitely interesting. We're going to have to keep a close eye on Kingswood, um, as there's lots of big plans for Canada's Wonderland in the future. So here you are with the contractors. Anyways, thanks for watching today's construction update. See you guys at the park this weekend. Have a good one. Bye.